scandium and neodymium are. Lithium and cobalt are not. There's a lot of confusion around rare earth metals, including the fact that they're not very rare at all. So let's break it down. Rare earth metals, sometimes called rare earth elements, or just rare earths, are a group of 17 metals that are found almost everywhere, but are tremendously difficult to extract from the Earth's hard rock crust. They are useful in a multitude of products, EV cars, phones, medical equipment, military equipment, camera lenses, and so much more. Researchers forecast yearly demand to grow to approximately 240,000 tonnes by 2030, especially given decarbonisation targets. Extracting this amount is difficult, but processing is even harder. To separate the traces of rare earths, you usually need solvents, the kind that produce a toxic waste byproduct. Not every country is willing to do this on their own soil. Add to that the complications surrounding environmental law and regulation, as well as the escalating volatility around mining and processing rights. 70% of all rare earths are mined in China, and 90% are processed there. China recently announced export restrictions, a move which could threaten a number of industries globally. Meanwhile, the US turned its sights towards other significant deposits of rare earth metals. So. Where do we go from here? Opportunities for new recycling technologies to fall in line with environmental targets and new mining and processing methods that create less toxic byproducts are on the horizon, with many countries, including the US and EU, investing in processing plants. Though some companies are looking for ways to lessen their reliance on rare earths, Researchers believe that demand will outpace any technologies that reduce the need for rare earths. So, the demand isn't going anywhere, but how we meet that demand may look very different in the years to come.